Hey guys, it's Emily with Wondering Widener's, um, and I'm here today, and we're going to talk about Orlando in July. Now, if you've not been to Orlando in July, it is hot, very, very hot and humid, and it also rains a lot, okay? So, if you're down on vacation, and you have spent lots and lots of money for this vacation, and it's so hot, or it has rained all day, what do you do? Is it, are you going to let this ruin your vacation? Absolutely not. So we're gonna talk about some places that we can go in all of the parks that can um, keep us shielded from the rain or give us a little bit of air conditioning when we are needing a break. Obviously, um, if you need a break from the heat, you can always go um, and sit down somewhere to eat. There are lots of places for table service restaurants. There are quick service restaurants where you can go inside and eat and get out of the heat or out of the rain but if it's not time to eat and you just need a break we're going to talk about uh, some places that we can go so first off i'm going to talk to you about magic kingdom it's my favorite park i feel like it's the iconic park that everybody wants to go to and we've been many many times when it has rained um so several places that you can go are it's a small world um Obviously, that's a ride. Um, Hall of Presidents. Um, that's a show that will give you um, air conditioning and keep you shielded from the rain. Carousel of Progress. Um, this talks about Walt's Dream. It's, um, it's an old show. It's been there since park opening. They have updated a few things with it, but it's still, um, I feel like it's great. Um, to know the history of things, so I like Carousel of Progress. Mickey's Feel Her Magic is a great show. Um, it normally doesn't have much of a wait if you get there right um, time for the ride. Pirates of the Caribbean, um, most of that queue is inside. Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor, another inside show. Um, Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger, Spin. Now, at times, sometimes that queue can come outside, but most of the time it's in. Um, Space Mountain. Now, at times, that queue will come outside as well. Country Bear Jamboree, another show. Under the Sea, Journey of the Little Mermaid. Part of that queue can be outside, but most of the time it's indoors. Peter Pan's Flight. Um, most of that queue is inside as well. Um, sometimes it can come outside. The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, also um, one that has part of its queue outside, and Haunted Mansion, sometimes that queue also comes outside. But once you're inside those things, those can you can be sheltered from the rain and also from the heat. All right, guys, I'm going to tell you about Hollywood Studios and where you can beat the heat and beat the rain. First, you got Muppet Visions 3D, which is one of my personal favorites. It's an indoor show. It lasts about 10, 20 minutes, so it gives you a good amount of time inside out of the rain. Then you have the original animated short with Mickey and Minnie. Then you have Lightning Queen's Racing Academy, which is a very short wait, typically, and a good show. Then you have your Walt Disney Presents. And it's just uh, various Disney things that you can see once you go in there. Then you have Star Tours, The Adventures Continue, which is uh, just outside of uh, Star Wars land. Then you have Toy Story Mania, my personal favorite ride, which is a great one that you can go inside and play a game. Uh, Tower of Terror, everybody loves the terror. Rock and Roller Coaster, where you go by hot backstage with uh, Aerosmith. Then you have Star Wars Rise of the Resistance, which is a great new ride that they have and one that is very immersive. The only thing you have to watch about this one is that it does tend to shut down sometimes, so be on the lookout for that. Then you have the Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run, which is another one of the star new Star Wars adventures. Uh, that's a great ride for everybody. Then you have the Frozen Sing Along, which is a, a show that you can watch. And then finally, my son's favorite, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. It is a great indoors one, and most of that queue is also inside, but sometimes a little bit outside.
All right, guys, if you're looking to beat the heat and the rain at Hollywood Studios, that's where you need to go. Hey, y'all, if you're going to Epcot and you want to beat the heat or the rain, here's some places that you can go. Soarin', Grand Fiesta Tour, which is located at the Mexico Pavilion, The Seas with Nemo and Friends, Turtle Talk with Crush, Living with the Land, Journey into Imagination with Figment, Spaceship Earth, Mission Space, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, which is located at the France Pavilion, one of my personal favorites. Frozen Ever After, which is also located in the Norway Pavilion. Um, Gardens of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, that's a new one that I have yet to ride. Um, Reflections of China, it's located in the China Pavilion. Um, the American Adventure, the, it's located in the American P Pavilion. Um, Beauty and the Beast Sing Along, it's located at the France Pavilion. And Canada Far and Wide, which is located at the Canadian Pavilion. Hey y'all, if y'all are headed to Animal Kingdom and want to beat the heat, here are some places that you can go. It's Tough to Be a Bug is a 3D show. The Navi River Journey. Avatar Flight of Passage. Dinosaur. Finding Nemo the Big Blue and Beyond is also a show. Okay guys, so those are lots of places that you can go with the different parks to beat the heat or beat the rain. Now we wanna know in the comments, did we miss something? What is your favorite place to go to beat the heat or beat the rain? Don't forget to give our video a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you know every time that we put out a new video. And why don't you head on over and check out our Disney Park Bag video. We'll see you later, guys.